colors fade and rooms get darker inside your dreams but now I know there's something I should do I can make things better there'll be warmer weather but now I know it's time to live again Hey, hey, it's the no-handed bandit. How you doing? Uh, I'm sorry you caught me at an emotional moment. I just been dumped this month, so that it happens to be the subject of the month. Taking a dump. You get dumped, take a dump, and the hardest thing about taking a dump is wiping the butt. So that was another good thing for the jazz hand. Use it to dry your tears because this just doesn't cut it, you know? And this little jazz hand, he was complaining about not being in any videos, and now he's gonna be in this video. I got a special use for him. You sit right there and hold the roll of toilet paper for me. Just in case I run out. Little jazz hand, you know, he says he takes care of me. That's how he can take care of me this time. The song you heard in the intro is from a friend named Norman, and it's called To Live Again. It's a beautiful song about, you know, when something bad happens, uh, that you can live again. You can check it out on his uh, SoundCloud. Bring me down again. Back to the wiping of the tush. It was probably the most humbling thing to need someone else to come every time you need to use the restroom but I didn't want my family to have to do that for me that was like one of the first things I wanted to know I was able to through Sean McHugh get in contact with Jason Coger and he was able to help me I've mentioned him many times because he kind of saved me from a lot of grief and he told me how to use toilet paper and then I used to just like pull it off, bunch it up like this, and it wasn't very efficient. So I ran into a guy named Eric Hartruft at the uh, Skills for Life 3, which I encourage any bilateral upper amputee to attend. It's very helpful to meet peers over there that uh, will be your friends for life. And Eric Hartruft, he showed me the accordion technique. I've changed the name of the accordion technique to the poop accordion technique. So there you go. You can call it the accordion or the poop accordion. If your wrist is angled like mine is usually for eating, then I want to hit this lever. So I bump that with my knee and make the hook face straight up the same direction as this. What you want is that hook, you want it to face straight up. There it is. And you're gonna pull off toilet paper and you're gonna fold it two squares. So you wanna get this on your lap and fold it. I use about two squares. You can see the perforations. You're gonna fold it into the accordion or the poop accordion to me. Fold it two squares and then fold it back on itself. Two squares, and then fold it back on itself. Two squares, and then fold it back on itself. Back and forth, back and forth manner. Sometimes I can pull a bunch off, and then rip it, and then drape it over my arm, and then fold it two squares. Just like that. And the less you have, you come down with your arm. Just like that, right at the creases, two squares. And you might have to try this several times to see how much you need personally. Maybe you eat a lot of fiber. That means you won't need as much. Toilet paper varies, so you might have a different amount of squares. Some places I use three squares. This video is going out to a couple of uh, people. One in particular is in Miami. Then you're gonna grab the toilet paper 
you just want to use the top part of your hook you don't want to grab it all up in here i try to use as little as possible you want to grab at the very tip of your hooks and at the very top of your paper with about an inch of squeeze i grab it as high up on the toilet paper as i can because this curve it curves away from the uh, contaminated area that you're going to wipe now you're going to have almost like a book now uh, rotate your hook straight up and down bend your wrist against my knee hit this lever bend it and then you stand up and you're going behind and just wipe some people say go up some people say you only wipe down let me do that one more time for the camera just go like this boom or down on the way I use it one time up and then I turn the page make sure not to grab on to where the poop is turn the page and sometimes on that first one you got to turn two pages because it's a little moist or whatever you didn't have enough Wheaties there you go again fold again repeat again and then you just toss it in the toilet just like this, flush it down. Be careful not to get too much. It'll clog the toilet. And then you gotta learn how to plunge the toilet with no hands. Thanks, Jazz Hand. Thanks for holding that. Just always saving me. Another thing you can get to help you, this is, uh, this is called a bidet. That's what it's called, a bidet. But if you push this button, it'll shoot a stream and then you can dry it off and then use your toilet paper. When I was in this same position, just barely hurt, I was thinking it was kind of disgusting because, you know, you use your hooks to eat. If you think about it, uh, people, they wipe their butt with their hands and the only concern becomes uh, washing your hands and or washing your hooks in this case. And what I do at home, I always have these Clorox's wipes by my toilet just pop it open and grab a sheet and then you use that to clean so you'll take that just wipe your hooks just like you would your hands and the reason i use these sheets it's hard to clean these because if you rub a hook on a hook not enough surface area to cover things i've touched all the areas this kills 99.9 .9 of bacterias Hopefully that 0.1% of bacteria is not on here. Chances are no. Kind of wash the cable, wash the wrist, clean it up real nice, and then throw this sheet away. No handed bandit the signing out. French name. Then eat deuce, Rush Limbaugh. Eat deuce! Oh, I, I got dumped this month. <laughs> it's called a French butt cleaner. No, I don't know what it's called.